In this video, you will see how to use Husky, Prettier, and ESLint together to write better quality code. When you work on industry or company projects, you will see that Husky is used to improve the quality of the code as per the coding standards. Husky performs checks for the formatting of your code and linting checks for your code while doing the git commit. This allows you to have some specific coding standard to be followed across your entire project team which is very important when you're working on large project. It also allows us to maintain the quality of your code which is easy to debug and avoids future issues in the application. So let me show you what I mean. So I have created a simple VJS application that just displays hello on the screen. And I already have installed Prettier extension which automatically formats the code. So, if I add some empty lines before the text and save the file, you can see it's automatically formatted. Also, if I have a user object with name property and value of Mike, then some developers might not add space before and after the property while writing the code but it's good to have one space to make the code look good. And if we have some variable created like user, but it's not used anywhere then the linter should show warning or error message so we don't have and use variables in our code. Also, starting from version 17 of React, this React import is optional and not required to use the JSX syntax, so we should remove that. These are ESLint configurations we can do. If some new developer joins the project, he might add a quote for some of the properties maybe by mistake, and it does not look good to have quotes for some properties and not for others. So that's the importance of following coding standards and having formatter and linter to make the code clean and easy to understand. So because of the prettier formatter, the quote is automatically removed on file save. That's why in industry projects, Husky is used to check for all these issues while the developer is doing git commit. So developers don't have to install the prettier extension and do configuration for the formatting to be done, as Husky does that for us. So even if I disable the prettier extension, then while doing git commit, Husky does that formatting and developer just have to install the dependencies required for the project. So let's install Husky in our project using npm install as a dev dependency because we will not be directly importing it in the code. As we're using save dev flag, it will not be added under dependencies, instead it will be added under dev dependencies. Now we will execute this line of code to add a prepare script in the already available scripts with the value of Husky install. You can even manually add that script instead of executing this line of code. This script you need to execute only once for the project, so it's fine even if you don't add this script, but it's always good to have all the required scripts for your project. Now, we can execute the prepare script which we just added. We're getting an error saying not a git repository because Husky works on git commit and this project is not initialized as a git repository. So if I execute git status command, we will get the same error. So to initialize this project as git repository, we can execute git init command. Now this project is a git repository and before configuring Husky, we need to have at least one commit available for the project, otherwise we will get an error. So let's do our first commit. First we will execute git add dot and then we will commit the code. As we don't need to have a prettier extension installed and we have already disabled it, so let's install the prettier npm package to achieve the same. Now, we need to specify the rules to use to format using Prettier, so let's create .prettierrc.json or JS file. So, 
Let's search for .prettyerRC in Google and we will see what configuration we need to add. In this basic configuration, based on .json or .js file, you use different configuration syntax. Now, let's copy this configuration and paste it in our configuration file. So whether to add or not this last comma in the object is specified by the trailing comma property. Tab width indicates how many spaces to add before each line of code, whether two or four. I always use two which looks good. This semi property indicates whether to end every line of code with semicolon or not. I will keep it true. And single quote property indicates whether to use single quote or double quote for each string in the code. You can also see more configuration options if you click on options under configuring prettier menu. So to specify whether to use double quote or single quote for JSX attribute, we can use JSX single quote property. We can also use the bracket spacing property to automatically add one space in the object as we have seen earlier. So we can use the bracket spacing property to automatically add one space in the object as we have seen earlier. So that's it about the configuration. So every time we do git commit, Prettier will format the code based on these specified configurations. Now, to run the Prettier automatically during commit, we need to use lint staged npm package. This package performs linter checks and also prettier formatting and other things during the commit. So let's first install this npm package. This also needs to be installed as dev dependency using save dev flag. It's a very popular npm package as you can see here. Now to use this package, we can search for npx lint staged. So we need to configure lint staged in package.json file and husky with its own configuration. So we need to add this lint staged property anywhere in the package.json file. Now we need to add this npx lint stage command in the pre-commit hook of Husky. Now, let's run the prepare script which we missed to execute after our first git commit. As you can see now, there is a new .husky folder created. Now we can add a commit hook to execute that lint stage package. And instead of npm test, we will specify npx lint staged. Also note that it's not npm, but it's npx. Now, if I execute this, you can see a pre-commit hook is created. So inside .husky folder, we have pre-commit file where our specified npx lint stage command is added. So now, our pre-commit file is exactly similar to these lines of code. So whenever we do commit, whatever commands we specify in the lint stage configuration will be executed. So let's specify the commands which needs to be executed while committing the code. If you scroll a bit, you will see automatically fix code style with Prettier. Click to expand here. And we will use this line of code.
so all files ending with these extensions will be formatted using Prettier while doing git commit. So whenever linstaged is executed, it will execute this command, and the code will be formatted. Now, let's execute this command to add commit hook and we will do a new git commit to verify the husky configuration. We will execute git add dot, and then git commit. As you can see, Prettier is executed and code from app.jsx is automatically formatted while doing commit. So double quotes are changed to single quotes and spaces are also added to the object. Now let's set up ESLint check using Husky. When you create a new VJS application, you automatically get this ESLint RC file with default rules. So these linting rules check we need to do while doing git commit to have a better quality of code. VJS provides a lint script which you can see in package.json file. So if we run that script, using npm run lint command, you will see linting issues in this application. So we have two errors here, one for unused import and other for unused variable. Starting with version 17 of React, you don't need to import React package to use JSX syntax in your code. And to fix the user variable error, we can just console log that variable for now. But getting these linting errors at the time of git commit is not the best way to fix it. Because, if you have written a lot of code, then you might get hundreds of errors while doing git commit, and it will take a lot of time to fix each error. So to avoid that, you can install ESLint VS Code extension. And with this extension enabled, it checks your code for any linting issue by following the rules defined in the .eslintrc file. Now you can see that the file is turned into red color indicating that there is some error in the file. So having eslint extension enabled helps to fix linting issues ahead of time and will save your future wastage of time. So the optional React import error is generated by the JSX Runtime plugin, so if I remove this line of code, you will not get that React-specific linting error. Now, we will set up Husky to automatically run the npm run lint command while doing git commit. So we will copy this line of code. And instead of npm test, we will use npm run lint command. Now you can see, it's added. Let's again execute this pre-commit hook. Now, every time we do git commit, prettier formatting and linting check will be performed. So let's commit the changes now. Now you can see, the formatting and linting command is also executed. And as there is a linting error, commit will not happen until we fix that linting issue. If you're not using VJS, then you might not have .eslintrc file in your project. If you want to learn how to use eslint and how to create that file from scratch, check out my article link added in the description of this video. You can also execute this command and answer some questions to quickly create that file. But as we already have that file, I will not create it again. Now let's fix that error by removing the React import as it's optional in React version 17 and above. Now, even if you manually execute npm run lint command, you will not see any linting error. So let's do git commit to verify the same.
As you can see, we don't get any error now and commit is also successful. That's it for this video. If you found this video useful, do like it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.